There is a large part of society that don't see themselves reflected in films very often. That's part of the conversation right now. And so having uh, a young black kid that is working out his place yeah. and he's adopted and he doesn't feel completely at home there. And then where we sort of take him to the end of this film, he sees uh, a real destiny for himself and uh, a larger place in the world. And I just think of young kids looking and seeing that, that movie and seeing themselves in that character and that's pretty exciting. We were inspired a lot by 80s movies that had a child protagonist that finds something and ends right. up changing his world completely. Things like The Last Starfighter or Flight of the Navigator right. or, you know, Explorers, thing, things like that, that that have a very nostalgic feel to them but still feel mature and, and adult. Yeah, and there's a, there's a wish fulfillment there that I think is present in this movie. Let him go. The hell is that thing? One thing we talked about early on was doing our version of the sword and the stone. In this film, our sword is some crazy alien plasma rifle from a video game, and we wanted to take something fantastical but also super powerful and put it in the hands of an innocent kid and see kind of what that does. When we made the film, we just re-evaluated where it was going to take place. And the movie is a lot about uh, decay, to be completely honest. And so Detroit does symbolize that in some way. And so Detroit made a lot of sense. You know, little white kids have been finding alien space rifles for years. So let's, let's let this kid have a go. This is our contribution to the sci-fi genre, but it's not overtly uh, over-the-top science fiction. It is, it is a very relatable, grounded, yeah. gritty world that, you know, that we kind of live in. And we're just mashing that with something that feels like it's you know, out of a big genre movie. It also just comes down to what is the most interesting, unique story. And this one for us is something that I've never seen on screen before. So we made a movie that we wanted to see. Make it work. Oh, it likes you just fine, huh? But people think movies are the perspective of a director, but and, and it is, but I think it's also the perspective of everybody that works on it. I mean, making a movie is really creating a family and everyone sort of bringing uh, their strengths to, to a story together. And so, you know, gathering different perspectives of all the people you work with is, is super important. Otherwise, it just gets insular and it becomes, you know, yeah, very limited. It's just boring if it just goes down the way that it always has, right? I mean, that's literally what it comes down to. It's just, it's, it's one voice from one corner of the world and I, that's not interesting to me at all.